Parathyroid glands. In this topic, we will be discussing the location, size and shape, blood supply, nerve supply, microscopic structure and functions, clinical correlation, and the development. The parathyroid glands are two pairs, superior and inferior, of small endocrine glands located along the posterior border of the thyroid lobes within the thyroid capsule. They appear as small yellowish-brown bodies. The parathyroid glands secrete parathormone, which maintains blood calcium level by mobilizing the calcium from the bones. Its action is opposite to that of calcitonin secreted by the thyroid. Location the superior parathyroid lies at the middle of the posterior border of the thyroid lobe above the level at which inferior thyroid artery crosses the recurrent laryngeal nerve. They develop from the fourth pharyngeal pouch and hence is also termed as parathyroid 4. The inferior parathyroid lies on the posterior border of the thyroid lobe near its lower pole below the inferior thyroid artery. They develop from the third pharyngeal pouch, hence also termed as parathyroid 3. Size and shape. They are small, oval or lentiform in shape. Each gland measures about 6 millimeters in length, 4 millimeters in breadth and 2 millimeters in thickness the size of a split pea and weighs about 50 milligrams. Blood supply. The parathyroid glands have rich blood supply. The superior parathyroid is supplied by the superior parathyroid artery, a branch from anastomotic artery joining the superior and the inferior thyroid arteries or from inferior thyroid artery. The inferior parathyroid is supplied by the inferior parathyroid artery, a branch of inferior thyroid artery. Nerve supply. The parathyroid glands are supplied by the sympathetic fibers derived from the superior and middle cervical sympathetic ganglia or the sympathetic plexus around the inferior thyroid artery. These fibers are vasomotor in nature. The secretory activity of the gland is controlled by blood calcium level. Low level of calcium stimulates secretion, whereas high levels of calcium inhibit the secretion. Microscopic structure and functions. The parenchymal cells of the gland form irregular anastomosing cords or groups of cells. The parenchymal cells are of two types principal or chief cells and the oxyphil cells. The chief cells form the major population and secrete parathyroid hormone called parathormone. The oxyphil cells form minor population and their function is not known. The parathyroid hormone plays an important role in calcium metabolism. It maintains the blood calcium level by enhancing the mobilization of calcium from bones by osteoclastic activity, increasing the reabsorption of calcium by proximal renal tubules, promoting the absorption of dietary calcium from small intestine. Clinical correlation. Hypoparathyroidism may occur spontaneously or due to inadvertent removal of parathyroid glands during thyroidectomy. It results in tetany due to low blood calcium level. Clinically, the tetany presents as increased neuromuscular excitability causing convulsions and carpopedal spasms. Hyperparathyroidism is seen in the tumors of the parathyroid glands. The increased amount of parathormone removes excess calcium from bones which makes the bones soft due to decalcification leading to a clinical condition called generalized osteotitis fibrosa and may cause formation of stones in the kidney. 
Development The inferior parathyroid gland develops from the third pharyngeal pouch along with the thymus. As the thymic diverticulum migrates inferiorly in the neck, it pulls inferior parathyroid with it. Consequently, the inferior parathyroid comes to lie finally on the posterior surface of the thyroid lobe near the lower pole. The superior parathyroid gland develops from the fourth pharyngeal pouch and finally lies on the posterior surface of the thyroid lobe at the level of isthmus.